Welcome in, YouTube. We are back. Uh, hi. Uh, Forgot about the moan in the menu. Uh, uh. Alright. So, all we should have to do at this point, and it's kind of a big all, which is part of why I don't want to do this. We should just need to beat the remaining three temples and find the oath to order song wherever the fuck it is. Um, which means most of this is essentially just going to be vanilla Majora's Mask, which is boring and lame. But crowd control's up, so people can fuck with me at least, and I at least don't have to worry about small keys in the temple. So, you know. Oh, and I do have, like, these masks hotkeyed because it's the randomizer, and that's so good. Uh, the fuck is the Gorong Lullaby? A, right, left, A, right, left, right, A. Ah, idiot fell. I don't know if I should have stocked up on any form of ammo before coming out here, but here we are. Flawless. Can she do it? Can she get up here? First try. Non-stop rolling, baby. Shit. I feel like that's so hard to do, but I also feel like it's the way the devs intended you to get up here. But at the same time, my god. It gets so thin right there. I think I ran out of magic right as we hit the top. Yeah, we did. Nice. Well done, I guess. So I don't really remember the layout of most of these temples. We'll see how this goes. Alright, we need fire arrows right there. If I can happen to get fire and arrows right here, that would be lovely. Forgot my buttons there for a second. Right, there's magic. Now if I just find the arrow part... Please. Uh, uh, oh, fucking ice physics. God damn it. I don't even know if those are supposed to be. Got him. Hey, what's in here? Hey, what's, what's, hey, what's in here? Hey! Eleven hearts! Just give me fucking arrows. Oh, gonna need bombs for that. Another ammo type I don't have because Majora's Mask is a bad game. playing fucking souls likes in hollow knight where i'm like why did he respawn i didn't rest anywhere what the fuck and a horse shit is this Whee! Toasty keeping my feet he's warm all right there's some bombs at least and it's also really annoying because i feel like there are 
like, a third of the arrow drops and bomb drops that fucking Ocarina has, which was already annoying sometimes to stock up on those two. Most of the time it's fairly good. This video is just gonna be me bitching about Majora's Mask the whole time. I hope everyone's ready. Why did I lose all my momentum there? <sighs> I just lost it so we didn't build up the spiky thing so I couldn't get over the ramp. Even though we're really moving about as fast, it just can't go up the ledge, I guess. Jesus. There's a fairy I can't get because we never found the fairy mask. There's some fucking fire arrows. Or just arrows. Alright. Wrong button. That's my B. I don't. I just hit right trigger to try and shoot the arrow. I don't know what I'm doing. It's like I've never played any of the N64 Zeldas, all of a sudden. Just the invisible right here? I assume it is. I was kind of hoping I would bump into it so I didn't have to go into my menu. God, I have so many bodies. I guess not. It must be above me or something. I don't know why I could bust open and kill that guy then. Let's do a little bit of this. If I recall correctly, I just need to get to the top, although I do also have to find the boss key. Which I believe wasn't randomized because the randomizer sucks. And is not intuitive. I think I... I think Link started to walk for a second right there. I think that must be why I lost momentum. My controller just fucking up again. It seems fine here. It's not like stopping. Oh, there it was, right there for a second. Which is weird because my problem is always that I go forward too much. Is this not what I do here? Oh, it must already be pressed and I need to. There's another one somewhere or something. Look, I shouldn't completely ignore items. We still gotta find Oath to Order, but I think that tried to freeze me, but it couldn't because I'm either a moron or because I was in law. One of the two. Oh no, it popped out that fairy. Okay. I'm just gonna wander around for a bit because I really don't remember this temple. Pretty sure you're supposed to get fire arrows from in here, though, so... I think navigating this place is gonna be extremely easy. I was holding left like that entire time. Boss keys around here. I could be wrong. Again, been a little bit since I played, but. That better have counted. Hey, right, isn't it just in there? I feel like it is. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, almost didn't make that. No, it's this, and this raises the pillar. Right. I don't have to worry about small keys. I... I don't know if I like this game specifically to ever do like a key sanity thing in it. I feel like I just prefer the Ocarina mode like a thousand times more, but. Although, if I actually randomize the, uh, the remains next time, we could do that. There is something dumb I hate about this room. Just not known I could reach that. Maybe that was it. So again, not seeing whatever chest that is. Also fine. That's not what I want. No. God damn it. There we go, Jesus. Always mixing up my A's and downs on the songs. Oh, that's why I hate it here. Right. Didn't see this one, I guess. A little bow. You fucking kidding me, game? I didn't need those up like that. Can't see. Cool. Also, I'm gonna be honest, if we like get to uh if we beat all the temples. I might just look up where the Oath to Order song is, because fuck it at that point, but we'll see. Because I have a feeling it's going to take a while to get through all the temples anyway, and spoiler alert, I'm not playing this rando again, like this specific seed, and save file. So if we don't beat it today, it's just not being beat. I'm not lo loading this up next week, too. Fucking kidding me, game? Really? 
Let go of me, foul winch. Cut your bullshit. Skis all the way at the top. Don't know if I can still reach there or not. Better be able to. If you just like soft lock and have to reset everything because you punch the things too fast, I might just stop playing this now. Lizards. Alright, hold on. Just do this. We've already seen one flying where I can't reach it, and I know you're supposed to have the Great Fairy Mask for that, so this is just not gonna happen. Please tell me I can just, like... a ramp here, could you? So that I can get across even if I punch the thing. I just... I... Okay, let's go downstairs and we'll hit the button, and maybe that'll let us, like, reset everything and put the breakable blocks back on it. If not, I have to reset all of time to do it. It's a fucking chest somewhere in the wall, somewhere. Is that it right there? Is it behind an invisible wall? Because... Man, fuck Nintendo. Like, what assholes? This is before Nintendo figured out how to make a good game. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be Oath to Order right there. I know it. Depending how annoyed I get, I might also just say, okay. Yeah, just magically they just shit themselves into existence again. Sure. If we find Oath to Order, I might just say we won and stop playing. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I... We'll see. Okay. So then I have to go back in here to fucking... No, because that's the way up. I actually want back where I was down here. Go through the other door so I can launch myself up. So that I can raise the platform again. Because I happened to push the two block, punch the two blocks too early. Something you could absolutely do in vanilla. And they could have just put a ramp there, so you didn't have to climb all the way back down here, then climb all the way back up. But Nintendo said, you know what? Tedium is fun, isn't it? People don't play video games so that they're happy. Is it just marking on my map because there's like a fairy in space or something? No. Oh. Is it this? 
Is it because I didn't bother killing the third fucking ice statue? Yep. Sorry, I didn't hold it down for long enough game. This asshole respawns. I have to use two arrows to hit the fucking eye thing. I uh, thought I'm gonna have to climb back down just to punch those two stupid little blocks. God damn it. And then climb all the way back up. This isn't even gonna be the boss game, I'm gonna be even angry here. And then we're just gonna play Elden Ring, I'll be happy. It's unlike Pokemon that I'm stuck with, this wasn't a sub goal or anything, so I can just stop if I want to. Oh yeah, we also gotta fight Magic Man again. Because Nintendo could only come up with a mini-boss. No, that's not true. They have the weird frog guy, too. They have two mini-bosses in this game. Do they use both of them in one of the dungeons? I feel like they do. I get it. This game was, like, rushed as shit and everything. But also, you know. If you don't rush your games, then. Crazy how that one works. I think that fired my arrow. I think I'm out of light arrows now. Boy, I sure am. What a great video game this is. What a classic of all time. Those faces probably have magic, but I don't think it's worth walking over it yet. I don't even know if that was actually doing dam extra damage or not. Or if he's just based on number of hits. Apparently those didn't have magic. Glad I didn't waste my time opening them then. Instead, they just had two empty vases for no goddamn reason. Okay, no, it was there. I thought it said Stone Tower for a second. It just said Snowhead, I guess. God, rap godding. Jesus. Can't talk either. No, let's not. I could probably break something if I wanted to there, but... Oh, but the icicle has magic? I see how it is. Shout out to the Wind Waker fight from, like, a decade ago, where I spent 20 minutes trying to get magic, literally fighting Ganon. Be all because the stupid bats wouldn't drop magic, and I didn't have any more magic for the goddamn light arrow, so I couldn't hurt him. It was just me dodging that big, stupid puppet Ganon. 
for 15 minutes and then I googled it because I was like, surely this game is not made this poorly where the bats just can just not drop magic for this long. Lo and behold though, it was. It's crazy that the first good Zelda game was Link to the Past and the second good Zelda game was probably Twilight Princess. Results inconclusive. I gotta go back to Twilight Princess at some point. We'll see. The opening section of you fucking around in the village is like three hours long, so it also might be a bad game. No. Wrong. I want down here. I don't remember if bombs or the or the fire arrows can break that, but just fuck it, you know? At least this boss is easy as fuck. I think I had more magic when we fought him before, but... I get it's the, the fire arrow dungeon, but still, you can let me just stay as a Goron to start the fight. I gotta swap out and then swap back in so I can actually fight him. You could probably hurt him with the fire arrows at some point, but just bashing into him with the fucking Goron mask is way easier. I can't believe Dark Souls 2 st stole this fight for the, uh, the Death Chariot fight, though. Like, come on. Come on, Dark Souls 2. Bunsing into, but still. This guy does also have like 80,000 health when you do it like this. So. The fire arrows are fast, I might need to learn exactly what you're supposed to do with that. But. He's also like a metal bull. I feel like using fire would not do great. makes robots weak to fire, like, come on. If he is, I've got more complaints about this game than I had previously. Oh, how come that second punch just whacked off him? God damn it. Steel type is weak to fire, you're right. You know what? I do say that makes sense in Pokemon, so I guess I can't complain too much. Out of your title, how you doing? I'm gonna get greedy here and hope for the best. Well, we got one hit in there. We just sat down. Fair. I already been going for like. Or no, I. I was. I thought. I thought the time by your message said 56, and I'm like, there's no way in fuck I'm gonna play this now. Or I'm like, he's still gone now. Next we gotta do either the water temple or the stone tower though, and both of those are gonna take fucking forever. Big yikes. Rando's dangerous. Uh, it is, but I've turned off the most dangerous parts of it. Theoretically are. Besides the resetting time one, which is still very dangerous, but it's at least more expensive. Now. It's expensive enough someone will at least have to pay for it now. And I'll get, you know, three or whatever. I don't remember. I think I set it to a thousand coins, but I don't know how expensive that is for crowd control. Like, 
all that and you just needed one more hit. Oh, infinite magic, thanks. Appreciate it. I'm not going to be able to use it well, though, because it's just going to take too long getting somewhere, but oh well. It is what it is. Oh boy, a Poiple Rupee. Give me this. So yeah, if we do this again, I'm randomizing this. Because you can. I was just, I just for some reason chose not to. Probably just when it's no longer helpful. Yo, it happens. Mood and such. Oh. Looks like there's an item back here. Let me grab this before everything freezes again. Because we are still missing one item to actually beat the game. That sure as fuck isn't it, but... Well, to Zora Town, I guess. wake you up I don't know where and what you're doing I think with the current setup it'll at least be mostly fine if we do it but I'll, I'll give a more in-depth look to all the effects and seeing what should or should shouldn't be on all right left up left right down left right I'm not gonna bring that up I have a slight headache that I've taken medicine for now, so it hopefully won't be too long. I think I need to fucking be a Zora for it. Jesus. Because the turtle should be awake. Here we go. But yeah, I need to set it so that the, uh, the remains of the giants aren't guaranteed to be at the end of the temples. That way I don't have to do this, where just at the end I'm going through every temple and not having fun. That was a poor choice on my part. Which is also why I'm trying to play through it and still beat it anyway, because that was completely a choice on my part. But like, now we just have to go through this temple and beat the boss again. It's like, ugh. I don't know if any of the fairies are randomized in any way, so if I knew what chests in here had fairies or not, I'd know what I would or wouldn't have to open up. Yeah. Like, I thought that one was gonna be a fairy, but... Okay. Ugh. Now, fortunately, again, I've turned off small keys, so at least don't have to worry about that nonsense going through. Here. That not. Oh, I think I. Hold on. Right, now, I gotta be a Zora so I can push the one that's underwater. 
I love how there's literally no indication of which way it should be turned. Unless you're just always supposed to turn it in so that the arrow part's facing, like, the, the fountain-y bit, but, like... Yeah, I think this one you can just turn either way, which is how the other one should also. Some of the few and <sighs> I love how some of the few enemies they brought back from Ocarina of Time are like the most annoying ones in there. Imagine having a jump button in a video game instead of just having to trust the game knows which way you want to jump or whatever. Crazy. I think it's because I hit A to try and roll jump, but because I'm a Zora, it just prioritized going in the water or something dumb. going to be one of those really cool things where I think we're essentially going to have to do the entire temple just to get the fucking boss key to move on because I was dumb and didn't randomize those in hindsight. Although I thought I did, so I, that, that one's not my fault. That's the fucking randomizer having a shitty UI. For his boyfriend, Prince Sidon, I know, right? Shame it's not the right link. Huh? <sighs> I wish this mechanic worked. Like, I get it's cool and everything that they tried to make the ice arrows actually have a use instead of just being there, but... Somehow that hit him. Okay. So you are supposed to turn it the way the water is supposed to flow, but at the same time, it's not exactly the quickest thing to take stock of. It's probably faster just to grab it and try and push it both ways. See which way it works. Please unlock. However you do that in this game. Now I do actually think the boss key is over here, question mark? Yeah, I won't have to do all of this dungeon, but I have the feeling I will have to do it. Yeah, and then there's the whole stone tower thing, which I also think I will essentially have to do like 90% of the dungeon at least. Thank <laughs> you. 
And this is gonna be a fairy. But we, we still missing that song we need, so... I gotta put some effort into getting the items. Me, bomb rat. I wonder if he's technically still alive since I managed to freeze him mid, ex mid death explosion. Nope. Eh, would have been nifty. Okay, sorry. Didn't know you could do that. So I should actually go down and kill you two then. I was gonna let you live for a little longer. not having the boomerang in this game, but still want to have the boomerang, like, mechanic somewhere. So if they give you this attack, you never have to use this fucking Zora Link. wonder if it was originally gonna be more important. Like, you even at least use, like, the Goron Slam as a, uh, as a thing to push buttons sometimes. I think there's, like, maybe an optional fairy and part piece you need to do it, like, once for each, but, you know. Bit of, di bit of a difference between doing that and needing it to, uh, be the dungeon. Also, I haven't picked up any new magic, so we'll see if I have enough magic to get over here. Because the vases don't hold useful things in this game. Shot. Okay. Well, I mean, I tried. The ice arrows don't work as a mechanic, though, so, like, you know. I guess I'll go find magic and then come back here. The fun of video games. There's faces up top, and maybe those will actually have magic in them. If I'm lucky. Like, I feel like in Ocarina of Time, you just are overwhelmed with ammo and magic from every breakable in the game after. And just in this one, it's like 50 50 chance they might have something. It's like, please. Why did you make this more annoying than Ocarina of Time, a game that is already extremely annoying and bad? I do think part of it is just the fact that I also bothered to get, like, double magic in the vanilla playthrough, which apparently was... Maybe the smartest choice I made that entire playthrough, besides also grabbing Fierce Deity. Because, whoo! You girls having magic problems. Oh, I, I then also needed more magic to break the ice thing. I bet, yeah. These will consistently drop fucking magic and arrows, though. Oh, hey, it's the other mini boss this game has. It's only got the two. I don't remember how this works. There is at least a little more variety in the frog mini boss fights than the fucking Wiz Rogue one, where it's literally the same fight every time. Right. Oh, 
Cool, that didn't take 18 years to sit through for no damage whatsoever. I get I have du double defense, but at the same time. Please, no. Sweet attack that also carry covers the entire arena. I don't know what I'm supposed to do against this. There's only seven players. How do you do it, How do you do it? Welcome, welcome. Probably supposed to use the ice in now. It just makes more sense to me that you would use the hookshot to try and pull it out, but... God, this game is bad. I get people having nostalgia for this in Ocarina of Time, but it's also like... How can they be your favorite? Even Wind Waker is so much better than this. I hated Wind Waker still. Okay, fine. I will... Alright. That's fair. How could you do this? You're keeping me from Elden Ring, you bitch. If I, for some reason, do this again, I will probably also have to increase how much that costs. Because that really eats up the old time. But we'll see, because uh, dungeons should hopefully be less important if we do this again, so... said that, but in case I didn't, I said it again. Dealing with a lot right now, Lamau. There's the shitty fucking ice hero mechanic to get back over to the thing. I thought I somehow managed to just clip through the wall or something there. The camera really had trouble showing whatever the fuck was happening. Ah! Sorry. Getting to me a little. Imagine having a jump button, am I right, guys? You piece of shit frog, I'm back. Hurt my throat a little bit. Like that. Oh, can I not pop these balloons? Are they different than the fucking eyeball boss balloons? Gel, whatever the fuck this is. It's gonna get me! That legitimately covers like over a third of the arena. And it's a circle and a square, so that's like even more than it sounds, because it's such an awkward thing to dodge. 
Jesus Christ. And of course, everything automatically unfreezes, too. Alright, oh, let's hit him the wrong buttons. That's fine. Oh! Because you swapped my buttons, that's why I hit the wrong button. Maybe self doubt myself there. Fuck you, frog. I get it. Don Jero and everything. If Oath the Order is behind Don Jero, I'm just not finishing this. Okay. I'm like just. And we just need to get to the boss room, which I probably have to do the rest of the temple for, but I'm gonna check just in case I don't. It's one of those things where, like, I'm 90% confident I have to do the rest of the temple, but I don't remember why, so I'm gonna check just in case it's... You're right, game. I stayed as the Zora. I should have learned my lesson that you would break everything if I did that, and I need to be Link. So that you don't try to fucking hone me in on the water. That's my bad. I should have remembered that you are bad and taken account for it. Why do I need to do the rest of the temple? Because of that? No, because I should be able to just do this, right? sure this is the way to the boss room. No, it's downstairs, isn't it? That's why. Because I need to, like, reverse the flow of the water, which I think is what I do here. Then I need to turn on some other bullshit, I think. Maybe I need to turn on some other bullshit so that you get the ice arrows to go in here to reverse it? I don't remember. I think I remember where the, the boss room is, though. I think it's, like, down by that one fairy that I couldn't get. And I forget how I eventually ended up getting it. I think just pure luck. I think that's what it ended up being. I think there was a hole in the ceiling. I already forgot about that. I think I have to do ice platforms to it, though, so we just aren't going to get that. And you know what? If that's oath to order, then we just aren't needing this. Yeah, I need to, like, ice platform over to that wall to hook shot up. Yeah, fuck that. Maybe if the ice platform mechanic actually works, I'd do it, but...
I know this did reverse. Fine. This is what we want. I don't remember why I want to turn on the thing in the middle. Whatever. Get turned. Hey, I would have landed on that if you just jumped, Link. No, it's fine. It's cool. faster than this. I want to play Elden Ring tonight. Or Hollow Knight. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I'd even take Pokemon over this. TBH. I did make the, uh, the thumbnail for uh, the last Pokemon part today. Happy with how that one turned out. Hey, bud. Right, you're just a mini boss in this. I forgot about that. God, this temple has two mini bosses? Why? What a waste of my goddamn time. I bet this is where the ice arrows are, and I'm legitimately fully wasting my time. How come you don't stay locked on now that it would actually be helpful, but like earlier when I was trying to lock off so I could look around, you just kept cycling between the two fucking ghost hands in the water? I forgot I could just stay like this. It doesn't accomplish much for this. Hell of a boss. For that one internet show. <laughs> Might have enough of an opening to actually hurt it. Probably not. Apparently done nothing so far. And immediately another bubble just spawns and hops on. See, now you won't lock off. felt like attacking me so far. Friendly reminder, I'm pretty sure I don't need to fight this thing for any reason whatsoever. you, I bitch. So, Andros, you show your true form. I love how it also changes how the fucking bubble spins, so even when it should eventually, like, reveal itself, it can just say no. TP, the bubbles decide to turn upwards now. Legitimately do not care. 
I think I shot between two bubbles that existed there. Somehow. Can I ask a question, Jim? Why do you keep picking this one? You can send me anywhere. You just keep... It's the top one. Okay. Ironically, with how annoying that fight is, you might have actually saved me. Oh, there's like... Vases right by here that I should be able to stock up with. It's hilarious that this is literally just a Link to the Past boss, and it's like a thousand times worse. Mostly because it's in 3D, go figure, and they changed very little about how it works. The one better thing about it is that it doesn't cause seizures, which is like, you know, a fairly important improvement, but... Oh, did the one thing I actually want from all this sink to the bottom of the ocean so it's going to spawn before I get to it? Thankfully not. That's not quite true. I was low on arrows too when we did that. That's fine, Goron Link. Don't jump. I don't know if you can or not, but... Why not? Why would Listen, that's as nice as fun. I thought you would have all been working on this. Eh. Alright. A modicum of progress has been made. Not this one. Ah. There's the path. I'm like, it's showing that there's a path right here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? So I don't have to fight the eyeball monster in there. In here, then? Oh, hey, the flow is definitely not reversed, then. Got it. Just turn, you sack of shit! God! This fucking game! Just turn more. But he does cool flips in this one, isn't that so great? Alright, I must have to go to the first room then to reverse this. I thought it was already reversed because I thought I was going in the other doors, but... Have 
the swimming. Yeah, I'm still upset it didn't have midnight in it. I know that was a long shot, but still. Maybe next time, Zelda. Not here! Other side. Probably wants me to in the only way I can think of. Back. Well, yeah, but they could have made like totally not bit the uh, looks like her and drop a twilight back or twilight or whatever it is. Imagine if this mechanic worked. Wouldn't that be fun? You're right. I'm sorry, game. I'm sorry that wasn't my first thought. Could have maybe made the ceiling a little closer or something so I would have the chance to see that, but no, no, it's fine. Just make me look 80 feet off to see it. You know, fair enough. I'm just saying, we had both hot Grotto women, we had hot, uh, fucking the ninja people, I'm blanking on their name. We could have had the hog goth twilight girls back. Like, come on. We even got the hot fish and birds back. Like, please. Chica, there we go. Listen, I have a headache and I'm dealing with a lot right now. More than anything, what I meant was we had hot Pura back. Like, even more than just Sheikah in general. that will jump because it actually matters in this game. I'm still not used to that. Totally not into bondage Pura, exactly. Listen, we know she a freak. I've seen the fan art, I know it's true. Just, I feel like in any other game that wasn't this, if you just held right right there, Link would turn. I, this is not my plan. But because this is fucking shitty ass Nintendo game, it won't turn. So you have to do a full stop. Why am I here? Just 
Soccer. Still getting those damn emails. Also, imagine if there was just like, you know, a tunnel I could leave from right here. Hey, oops, I went the wrong way. Could you send me back things so that I have to fucking go through the whole song and dance? Goddamn water towers. I know there's a chest there, but I don't care anymore. It's not like fucking Majora is going to take any effort either. We have both the Fairy Sword and also the goddamn Fierce Deity. Like, barring crowd control fuckery, we're just going to clown on him. So I feel like it really doesn't matter if I take the time to beat him or not. Oh, there's frozen water above this. That's what it is. Oh, might as well turn this. Still don't know if there's really reason to or not, but... Good fucking shot, Link. You stupid fuck. You were like three feet off of him and he was only five feet away from you. Oh, I just jumped across. Or not? I mean, whatever. Just for a chest anyway, who cares? I've been a Zora so that I could be tall enough to climb up there, maybe. He still could have jumped instead of just, you know, falling. But... Clearly not important enough to devote a whole button to jumping, am I right, Nintendo? I did, then. Now for another boss that Cloudy only really half remembers how to fight. Well, oh, hold on. There's water down there. Let me not be a fish. So that the game doesn't force me to jump into the goddamn water. Like shoot it. I know I don't want to be in the water with it because it does this extremely long animation again for like a heart of damage without the double defense. Less with it.
could just like damage it with that without having to do this. Or no, oh, I'm not gonna have any magic for the rest of this fight because the only place to recharge it is where it can be invulnerable and just grab me. Fucks off for a while. You know, just... Oh, can I just do this? Can I just like slap around into it with the shield up and that just wins? Nope. Seem to have much health, so fuck it, right? not stun him. That somehow missed the giant fish that was barely moving. extra hits in. Just have to be on the side there, I guess. Fair enough. And then it gets big again. It does that whole animation of it shrinking, and then its corpse pops up as a giant mask again. Yay! Anyway. The actual thing! Yorg! Nah, it was Chica. Don't worry about it. I should have just canceled that because I was doing the wrong thing, but oh well. Imagine if I didn't save any of that and someone reset everything, so neither of those temples were done. So you take all my fucking ammo, because how dare I not be reset in time, but you leave my broken down health and magic? Fuck you, game. the inconsistencies with this that I just love so much. Oh! 
It's especially funny to me because they realized it was a pain in the ass and they shouldn't be doing it, so everywhere you warp, there's a nice, easy stock-up point. But then it's like, why get rid of it? Why not just let me keep it, then? If you agree that it's annoying and a bad mechanic, you made the mechanic. And Alright, what's the fucking creepy ass doll song again? Right, left, right, down, right, up, left. Fuck. I swear that's what I hit last time, but didn't sound right and nothing happened, so I guess I did. Would you cut your shit? So I don't know what keeps screaming occasionally. I would like that to stop. Also, if I could have the cool song that was playing back. Missing the up, and then I'm also hitting right instead of left near the end. I know I'm doing that wrong. Alright, I hate like 90% of this game, but I will say, uh, it does have some of my favorite tracks in Zelda, which is nice. I think there's also an animation the randomizer is skipping, and I appreciate that, Lamau. just move in the cutscene? I'm confused. I have a headache. My brain isn't working right. This game is p pissing me off. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, those buttons are probably... Uh, I think those buttons just do the same thing as the other buttons, so I just wasted like 30 seconds fucking playing the song three times again. Gotta say, randomizer, kinda lame that the Link doll isn't tunic randomized. I'm not supposed to shoot up there. Is it the boulders spawning that are screaming at me? Is that what's happening? Yeah, yeah, stop it. Thank <laughs> you. 
please. This is like one of my like my second favorite track in this game. Can I just hear it a little bit? Stop having statues shoot eye lasers at me and cut the music off. Oh, is right. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot that one was too short, too small. Doesn't weigh enough. I have a lens now. Making everything look funny. I thought it moved. Are there are two boulder tracks right here. Stop it. Get some help. I was about to say, there's no way this doesn't reach. I'm sorry, it's showing the thing there? <sighs> Eat my dick, game. Trading gets me. I feel like they also could have made this a slightly shorter song since pretty much every time you have to play it, you're gonna have to play it three times. Also hoping I don't have to play this in a specific order like it seems I might have to. Or step on the buttons in a specific order, I mean. Dear God. Yeah. Right, hey, real fast then. Icky ass controller. Alright, all we have to do is this entire goddamn temple then. I oh, but I don't have the mask of beating this temple, the stupid stone mask that makes you giant so you can actually fight the boss. Instead of accomplishing nothing. Is that one of like two masks I'm missing? God damn it. Hmm. 
I'm gonna hope that for some reason it's just not randomized in that thing here. If not, uh, well, things will get a little interesting. I mean, I feel like I definitely used that all the time. And by interesting, I mean things might suddenly get much more from Softy and Elden Ringy. Stupid, like something behind one of these boxes or something. button on the ceiling, so... Hopefully I don't need to. A woo. Any chance I don't have to play that the song? For, but it's still, you know, I'm mad. I don't remember what I have to do that for, just remember I have to do that. Although I don't think so, because I think that's for a small key, and I think we can just go through here a little bit. Oh no, I need that hand, don't I? Because it like throws me on a ledge or some bullshit. Uh, who cares? Just for some stupid chest that probably just has a fairy anyway. nice going through these temples with the item you already have, so you just skip a lot of bullshit puzzles. 
Why do these things have to exist? They are just annoying. Which answers my own question, but still. I can still be mad about it, I feel. being annoyed at this room. So, I was expecting that. Still not happy about it. I fucking hate this game. I was holding left that whole time and it just shot, kept going forward and right instead for some reason. I was literally holding back and left. But no, it's fine. Also, shout out to the Goron not being able to grab that chest, even though he can fucking stand in lava just fine. Oh, but the fire is too hot. Sure. See, if it was Breath of the Wild, it would be like, yeah, you grab that, why wouldn't you be able to? You put on the heat resist thing, of course. That's why Breath of the Wild was probably the first actually good Zelda. Besides Link to the Past. Yeah, respect to Link to the Past. I did forget to mention this guy when I last listed mini bosses. And he is admittedly, like, the only somewhat unique one. <laughs> Were the Yiga clan in something before Breath of the Wild? I don't remember. I feel like they could have called them Garo from this, and that would have been nifty, but... Unless the Yiga are from something beforehand, and I'm just a forget. Which, you know, very possible. Go fake. Just money, huh? <laughs> Fight this piece of shit again. Should I just not use light arrows? Okay, cool. Didn't like that. I hit you with the sword then, or no? I can help. It would have been cool if you fired Link.
don't know what I accomplished doing all that. Because I'm just back here again. Should I have just gone this way first? Yes. No, because I think that just leads to that as well. Was I supposed to just shoot something in here I didn't notice and I could have not done any of that? Oh, there's something outside, isn't it? It's like the ruby outside. You hit the light arrows and it flips everything. So I didn't even have to come in here first. I think that's what it is. God damn it. That's on me for not remembering. This is absolutely just a fairy. I guess if I don't randomize fairies in the future, I won't have to do any dungeons. Because that's the only thing in chests, Lamau. Playing the cutscene. Don't, you know, keep playing it, but. So I do need some magic, though, so I can actually hit the damn thing. Or no, I have it. I just don't have the light arrows equipped. Good almost miss. Love it. Okay, still have to find the boss key somewhere, and I really don't remember where that is, but... Can I have my good music back, please? Away with ba Thank you, Alma. Didn't have to go into that flower. Just rolled off because you do get lost if you're just in the air current. A flipperoo from me to you. Well, this one's all about like pushing the box, right? I don't think I should have flipped that yet. Nice. 
Yes, I can't pull it that way. All right. Cool. Oh, because I moved too far and that would have squished me. Okay. Sure, whatever. That's the randomizer fucking with things because I think it's making me pull it further. Instead of just doing the ocarina thing where you pull faster. Just like jump this. Okay, weird. I don't know why you just. I don't know why Link just kept darting to the side there. That was. I legitimately looked over to see if that was a crowd control effect of fucking the things. Hey, look, it's this guy again. Everyone's favorite. Pig stick. My favorite mini boss in the game ever. Isn't he so cool? I love his mechanic of waiting. And then he does the dance, and then you wait. I guess this time he makes it dark or whatever. Oh, that's a pit. Okay, got it. I thought it was gonna be some mechanic to make it bright again. Guess not. I don't remember him making it dark. Okay, now it's not. I could have slapped him with my sword that time. I don't know why it was dark for the first time I hit him, and then not after that. That's not my hook shot. Am I insane? Okay, no, it did spawn up there. Like, did it not just spawn the chest up here? Okay, fine, whatever, game. Uh -huh. See, in here I was thinking that was probably an actual item because it was just a mini-boss. She doesn't know chat. I don't know. And clearly it wasn't important because I didn't need to know. I'm sure it was something to do with the fucking light arrows or the shield or something I skipped doing because we simply skipped the first half of the dungeon. All right, bored now. Oh, it was a fucking crowd control thing, okay. I feel like it might say something about the game that I thought it was just some dumb mechanic it was doing that didn't matter. Maybe it says more about me than the game, but I like to think it says something about the game. That guy up there trying to kill me? I think he might be. Oh, well, get rid of those two. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and do the side thing then. Might need light arrows for the side thing, I don't quite remember. 
Yeah, now that's there. Isn't that exciting? See why I originally wasn't going to go that way? You might also get something for killing the statue guy, but I don't care, and I don't quite remember how you're supposed to do that. He's trying his best to laser so hard. You know what? I appreciate it. Now, I feel like I remember going this way then having to go back the other way when we played this, but... Just... I'm gonna say no. Oh, well, that's unfortunate for me. Because I'm still blue, dabba dee dabba die. I was hoping for magic, but... Not the bats. Okay, this is just for whatever that item is, so this is probably not important. Who knows? Could be the Stone Master fucking the Oath to Order, which we still need. Are you really not going to give me magic, you piece of shit game? This is just the game you want to fight all over again from Wind Waker. Can I draw this? Oh, I can. Well, now. Get bombed, idiots. Boogie looking motherfucker. Can I please get this? Almost didn't. Also a cool mini-boss. Don't know why there are at least three mini-bosses here, though. That seems like a lot and completely unnecessary. Maybe you could just stop, you know, skip the repeat one that I've already killed three or four times. And just done the two cool new ones at most. Although even that Garo guy was pretty unnecessary since he's like the fifth one of those you thought, please stop. Oh, this was for the boss key. Okay, I needed to do that then. I'm much less upset. So the Jinx just doesn't affect the Super Sword. Got it. You can use literally any weapon, just not the actual sword. What a fucking... Sure. Whatever. Okay, so here's the problem. I might not remember where the actual boss door is how to get there. Well, I remember where it is. It was in that spot I had to, I fell down and then had to hook shot back up to in the non-inverse temple. I just might not fully remember where that is. I do have the map. Hopefully that'll show it. it does. It's apparently connected to here. I think I need in there, though. So that way, back towards 
the entrance maybe imagine if it showed me on the map so i could know like the direction i'm facing and everything yes back towards the beginning so if i just do this then Yeah, it's just Ford. Over there. In there. Or I guess off to the... I can't tell if those are connected or not. Shit map. So there's a non-second floor entrance and a second floor entrance. Okay, that's where I went. So I guess I want the one down here. Which is apparently not the second floor. There's apparently only two floors in this, like, eight. Oh no, that's where that was leading to the mini-boss. So I do want up because it's the only way I can go from here. Should have grabbed that health. This is why I didn't want to go back through this. to go in here? Can I even? I guess I could hook shot onto that. But, I mean, it's not showing a door or anything here. There's no way, but I'm gonna try it just in case. Yeah, I thought so. Hey, does anyone remember how to get to the boss here? Is it off to that side room? Of course I did it too early. Oh, 
that. Doesn't link anywhere cl It's gotta be something in that central room, though, and I just missed it, I guess. Or maybe in that small little side room, somehow? Because I need to get up on that bridge. I think there was a way to go here. Yeah, because this is just the entrance. There's no way... You do it in the inverted thing, right? Yeah, beat the Reaper boss. Side room, back in the entrance. Oh, you fucking hook shot onto that damn chest over here. That's what it is. God damn it. Oops. I already had this on. Right, we stepped on the button and it spawned a chest that I hook shot onto up here. Right, and then it drops us here, and now we can go in. God damn. Hey, does this make you ignore me too? Sure it doesn't. Open this chest and get another fairy. Oh, hey, that was the chest that was supposed to have the giant's mask. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna try and fight this boss, and if I can't beat it, then I think we're just gonna stop playing. Because I remember hating this boss anyway, because it was garbage. We.
Let me do that just in case. Because I think I can use Fierce Deity here and it won't, like, completely destroy the game. Just in case. Okay. So I've got this going for me. I just have to, you know, fight this asshole like this. So. Now, I am Fierce Deity, so hopefully this is doing, you know, actually noticeable amounts of damage, but... I do have a fuck ton of health. With, you know, the amount of actual health we have and also the old double defense thing. We don't have to worry about MP. I don't have the giant mask. We are missing like two masks and that's one of them. I think we're missing three right now. Right? We're missing the fairy mask, we're missing the pig mask, and we're missing the giant mask. But we have fierce deity and I'm gonna hope that's like enough to pull through for us. God, I love being able, not being able to see during a boss fight as well. It also just really adds to the whole thing. It's like the part of Dark Souls I always make fun of. For being bad. The whole community makes fun of because, you know, the the camera being the deadliest boss of all. Just skins. I don't think I have the magic spin either, so I can't even like be doing that right now. Because that's a skill you get from one of the fairies, but just haven't found it. Run fast, Link! Exactly hurting me, you know? I mean, they are a little bit, but. Thanks. Was that full health for a second? Oh, that should have hit. But we also have a couple fairies as well if things do get somewhat dicey. It's just... I feel like we're gonna be here for the next hour. Just because it's gonna take that long to kill it. It's so cool that, you know, 90% of their body you can't damage. It's definitely not infuriating even if you have the giant's mask. So it's face! I know you can hurt their face, game. Don't fucking lie to me. I forgot if I'm locked on, I said the fucking face games. Still take forever. Oh, we got one! Alright, I think Fierce Deity is still doing more games than the Giants Mask in the web. Which, I don't know if that really makes sense, but I'm not gonna complain about it. Oh, but I bet that needs my magic because I have less now. So magic's still a little important. I should just be spamming it. And so it means it's the kingdom. I mean, true. Yeah, I don't think that's really going to be that helpful. Maybe when it's like charging headlong at me, I can wail its head. Although you can't lock onto the head, so. It also seems like I only have to hit them, like, five-ish times at most, so... Oh, 
Oh, come on. Maybe line up here might be right. Tip of the mask of sword, like who came up with that? Oh uh, yeah. God, Link, could you like lead your target even a little bit, please? Like, come on, people knew that for space invaders, Nintendo. You can have Link just aim a little ahead of whatever you're targeting. Silly, just stack them. Then you get more reach, and isn't that super important for fights? Got him. The bell tolls for me. All right. Now we just need to find Oath to Order and we can cloud on Majora. Oh no, the red rupee, I'm missing it. Whatever will I do? All right, I was kind of vaguely hoping that it would just give me Oath to Order for beating the four of them, but. So, let me see here. What items have we not grabbed yet? Let me look at my tr handy dandy map tracker. <sighs> Just... Actual blacksmithing system. That would be cool. Well, we can go to the graveyard and get the items there. <laughs> Fucking Zodai in Origin. Yeah. I mean, who knows? They might. Probably won't, but... It's Nintendo, who knows what the fuck they're gonna do. evaporated like water. I'm still mad at that. Like, there's literally no- there's essentially no evidence Breath of the Wild happened. At all. Ocarina of Time happening before Majora's Mask matters more than Breath of the Wild happening before Tears of the Kingdom, and that's insane to me. I get that they wanted to make, like, enough of a standalone game that you didn't have to play Breath of the Wild, but it's also like... Come on, you could have given literally anything. Though. People forgot who Link was, people who met him. Yeah, people who canonically have to know who Link is don't know who he is in Tears of the Kingdom. It's like, what? It's a miracle Sidon remembers him, really. Could you imagine if they fucking tried to pass that off? Help! Help! 
It's still the best Zelda game. Yeah! I still feel that way too. I really like that. Can that grass respawn, please? I'm sorry I wasn't wearing the mask before I slapped it. Thank you. Song that Romani the girl at the ranch teaches you. Oh. Oh, now you're asking which she- Why do you care so much about the Romani girl, huh? Fuck you. This fucking fox is stalking her. I feel like I should care more about that. You know what I also care a lot about? Big juicy butts. Oh, of course. Oh wow, weird. How weird. I got fucking oath to order. That's crazy. How how random am I, right? Insane. to do that. I mean, I had it off in the crowd control effects, so that definitely couldn't have been it. Let me make a save state real quick, just in case I'm not remembering how to do this correctly. Um, that I'm not remembering how to actually beat the game. I've been given high. I don't know what that did exactly. Because I tried to jump, but... Specifically the one reason I jumped right there. I just wanted to see what the... the high thing was. Oh, unless it was high gravity and I jumped less. I was for some reason thinking it was like high jump. It's probably the opposite of that. Get crafty, yeah. Oh, you know what I had meant to do that I didn't? I was planning on going through all the Gardevoir fucking fusions for Pokemon and fusing them with things before the stream tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. I know it sounds like it won't take too long, and it won't, but I, I'm i planning on being a responsible adult before the stream tomorrow, and I don't think I'm going to have time because of that. Oops. Ow! Oh. 
I was fucking so distracted with getting the game updated and then realizing it re-randomized everything that I just forgot to do that. Stop! Do we still have slow time on? Is that what's happening? Yes. We'll fucking fix that real quick. Tell Sh Nightbot to shut up. I've banned people for that, I'll have you know. Sure, it's because that's like the first thing they say in the stream, and like that's a fucking weird thing to do, but you know. Oh, you know what? Since we're busy waiting, I'm gonna put in Discord the thumbnail I made for the last Pokemon fucking part because it made me laugh. A sneak peek for being in the Discord and everything. You get to see the one thumbnail I've put a lot of effort into early. Oh, uh, no, that's not true. We have the Metal Gear Solid one with Johnny. I put effort into that one. It's not that image. It's... No, not that one either. It was... There we go. As we're just literally sitting here waiting for this door to open. Do I still have just the separate social commands? I feel like I should. Just seems like it'll... It's a good idea to have. Okay, I've at least got the Discord one. Do we still have Twitter or... We... Don't. Okay, so I should make that. But I have thrown. Alright, nice. Guess I should also probably make, like, a blue sky one, but... I'll be honest, I don't use that. I should, but it works slightly different than Twitter, and I just haven't taken the time to learn it. And I feel like no one else actually uses it, so... Why, Abtank, why? Uh, because we specifically did that and had the clip about whether I would get banned from YouTube or not if I put it in the thumbnail. And I feel like after making that bit, I had to make it the thumbnail. I was gonna put more, like, shitty reaction image faces onto it, but then I, I after a quick Google, I didn't see any I liked, and I was like, eh, I'm bored now. I typed, like, disgusting reaction images or something, and there was one of Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony, and I was like, should I use this? But it acted weird when I tried to put it into the fucking image, so I was like, eh. But it made me laugh because I've never seen that show, and I felt like it would be a weird thing for me to use, so it just added to the joke. Okay, I'm proud of it. Yeah! So, you know, if if the fucking... If I get trouble in the, because of the thumbnail, I'll change it, but, you know. Not like the YouTube channel's been doing that great lately anyway, so fuck it, right? There we go, finally. Fucking let me up. Hey. 
Except for, oddly enough, the Elden Ring parts, which I think I bitched about the YouTube channel not doing well in one of those, so... Lamau joke's on me. Alright, what's... what's the Oath to Order song? Right, down, A, down, right, up. Okay. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. Ooh. Felt good. Alright, thank god I remembered how to beat the game correctly. Otherwise that would have been awkward. Alright, and we already have this thing, so, you know, fuck doing the other stuff. Let's just beat the shit out of Majora. I'm gonna make a save state just in case something weird happens. So we don't have to sit through that waiting again. Okay. I had to double check on that one, because that's something weird happening. I get linked like moonwalking now. Isn't that cool? Oh, you think only my ma my masks are weak, Majora? Good fucking joke, baby. Hey, guess what, bud? You uh clearly aren't checking my actual inventory with that, just whether I've talked to the other people or not. I have to break these now. <laughs> Oh, already broken. So, is that, like, crowd control thing, or does the game just look like ass right now? Okay, it is a crowd control thing. I'm like, I think I remember that happening before. God, it does not look great. Yo, twofer! We got the collat! Fucking putting that in my COD montage. The game is ass. It is. It has so many neat ideas, but boy, could they have been executed better, I think, even for the time. I do like the Majora Final Boss segment, just because it's so fucking weird. Freaky. Yeah. Both made each other fall there. Good goof. Yo, sweet moonwalk! I was doing that outside. <laughs> and fierce deity is good, good game. The best argument for this not being a good, a bad game is the fact that fierce deity exists. <laughs> ba -ba. More game. games should have you be this powerful if you do all the side quests, I'm just saying. Although, I said it while being stun locked, so, you know. Whip me harder, Majora. Tears the Kingdom doesn't- yeah! I think we're done. Lamau. And power them up, but he doesn't get a power up. He should. It should essentially make you fierce deity if you do all that. We did it! We beat it! With only mild cheating. I think I have the spoiler lost somewhere. Let me see where fucking the song actually was to know how annoying that was gonna be to get. Uh, fuck. Where is this saved? Should be in here. Oh, 
this doesn't look like a spoiler log. This looks just like the fucking settings. Okay, it's down here. It was apparently in the ice arrow chest in the water temple. I thought I opened that, but I guess not. Lamau. The world just doesn't have a moon anymore. Don't need it. This is like purgatory or something anyway. I think they blew up the moon twice in Dragon Ball anyway. I'm sure it's fine. I don't know why I'm sitting through all this. Lava. But hey! This is gonna be a nice at least three hours of uh, Elden Ring. Skull Kid's friends. I think they're supposed to be Majora's? No, yes. Maybe? I don't remember. I didn't think they were supposed to be Majora's friends based on the story or something. They're someone's friends. And then weird shit happened. They, like, decided to become gods instead and left him behind or whatever. I don't know. Grandma has a story about it. I listened earlier. And then I said I don't understand even though I understood because that's what gets you the item and it's dumb as hell. No. Get out of here, Skull Kid. I should have killed you back in the other one. Like all the hint stones were warding me. I always forget that it's like actually canonically the Skull Kid that you do sing the song to. And that it's not just like the same model and everything. And the name. You are welcome. All right, here's the thing, right? Like, I don't want to just, like, cut this off and just, like, close the game down and end it, but this is taking forever, so I'm about to do it if it doesn't hurry up and end. Oh, he's absolutely an evil god. I think it's very much implied that he may or may not be, like, the original owner of the mask, even though he says he isn't. It's something like how the fact that the the kids on the like moon afterlife or whatever the fuck you fight Majora in all look like him and they all have the masks and he does that like he's fucking something weird I love how he's animated by not animating him it's fucking terrifying and I love it Again, this game has a lot of, like, really cool ideas and some fun, like, small touches like that, but, god, so much of it is not great. It does make me wonder if this game wasn't rushed as fuck, if it could have been really good, but... Because I, I think they made this in, like, a year after Ocarina, and it's just, like, a rushed mess because of it, right? Less than a year of dead. Yeah. And while, you know, this this was still, like, the... I think this came out 2000? And while games took a lot less time to make then... That's still, like, not enough time to really make a game like this. 
All right, I don't care about seeing the credits. Good night, YouTube, for this part at least.